the findings that we can derive by analyzing digital data on YouTube are in a way representative of the social world. First, I, the first question of course is why music on YouTube? It's not particularly straightforward because we know that it is a video platform, but we also all know that it is very much used by people for listening to music. And the fact is that, of course, it's a huge, uh, YouTube is one of the, of the most successful digital platforms. There is a centrality of music in the YouTube, both in the YouTube business and in the practices of users. There is a, a, an availability of stats measuring real-time engagement, as we saw also from the previous presentation. We have a lot of numbers that tell us something about what's going on on YouTube. And also there are many comments, and these comments, as in my, the case of my PhD thesis, can be a novel source for the study of uh, dynamics of taste, of, of the justi justification used by people when uh, um, describing and narrate their taste, of the, the justification to the likes and dislikes to the artists that they are commenting, for example. These are a, a very interesting, I think, sociological tool for understanding this phenomenon. And then, of course, we have algorithms, like the related videos of YouTube, that are both a way, uh, something that shapes the practices of users, because, of course, a, a lot of traffic is generated by, by related videos, for example, but they, are also, they can be also a methodological device to track and study the patterns of consumption of users on YouTube. And that was exactly the uh, topic of a paper that I co-authored with Alessandro Gandini that is called the Follow the Algorithm and it has just come out on uh, Poetics and it's a paper where we want to <coughs> simply understand whether um, what the associations between uh, music videos uh, uh, on YouTube of related music videos on YouTube mean starting from the premise that we know that part of the effect of a uh, of the related videos algorithm is due on patterns of co-visitation counts, of co-views. So in a way we try to uh, perform a network analysis, uh, find clusters in the network of, related, of music related videos and see what, what was there, <laughs> simply. And we found that uh, that's in a way the starting point also of my PhD thesis because I tried to do the same analysis but adding some more steps. My first step is mapping music videos on YouTube in Italy. So my question is, how is the field of Italian popular music structured? What are the key artists, genres, and publics? And in, my, in this case, I perform the same analysis, a network analysis of a big sample of uh, uh, YouTube music videos. But then I add a couple of, more, of steps more that are, is the analysis of comments to these videos. Uh, focusing on those comments that uh, regard the, mu the musical content of these videos in order to understand the, how these commentators frame their musical taste and, and in a more, uh, I mean, sociological uh, uh, way, I would, uh, would like to understand whether there is a sort of symbolic uh, boundary between a good and bad music, if there are some shared definition of good and bad music that is uh, shared by the commentators, for example. So I use quantitative and qualitative text analysis. And then there is the third step that is uh, in-depth qualitative interviews with some of the commentators and an email survey that is independent from the sample of uh, commentators that I have in my data set, but that regards the way people use YouTube and express their taste on YouTube. So like.